to Skylark Church Soundbites. Now I think it's fair to say that the last few months have been hard for everybody. They've been gruelling, they've been relentless and so many are just feeling tired right now. Not only is it the end of term and if you work in the school system, if you um, have children, then you will know that this time of year generally brings with it that sense of, oh, we're done now. Yet this year it has been different. We've hit August and there isn't that same sense of being able to relax. A lot of people's holiday plans have completely changed. A lot of people's summers look completely different to how you thought that they might. I want to, this evening, create some space for us to just be able to meditate, to lay back into the presence of God and for him just to breathe afresh on us. I think so many of us are just wanting and needing that refreshing that can only come from God. That one that lasts beyond the moments, beyond the, the minutes and hours, but ones that speaks into our souls. So if your children are still around, if life at the moment is busy and bustling, maybe you just want to press pause on this soundbite for a moment. Maybe wait till the children are in bed. Maybe uh, listen to it on your drive into work. Maybe hide in a shed or um, somewhere else that you might have. Maybe in your car. Maybe that isn't possible. And it's going to be plug in your headphones and close your eyes and uh, focus on the Lord. But I just want today to read to you a psalm. It's a beautiful psalm and one that I am sure the majority of people would have heard before. Usually um, in a church service somewhere, um, but it's beautiful and it speaks of how we can come to the Lord and just receive from God a refreshing, a renewing, how we can just lay down and rest. So, Take a moment, listen to the silence. If that is possible where you are, it's only possible where I am because I have plugged three children into various devices, added extra screen time and I've come out to our shed to hide to be able to do this. So however you um, are able to do it, I just want to encourage you. And Lord, I just pray that as I read this psalm over tonight that you would refresh us Lord you would speak into our souls Father you would anoint us afresh and give us the energy and the restoration that we need so I'm going to read Psalm 23 the Lord is my shepherd I have all that I need he lets me rest in green meadows he leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along paths, bringing honour to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. For you are close beside me. Your rod and staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honour me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all my days. I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Be blessed, church. Have a great evening. Have a great day.